So I think I want to start off with really understanding what the startup phase is, because a lot of people have so much misconception about what that actually is, right? And I think it's important that we we clear that up and we discuss it, because when you're going through the startup phase, it's it's longer than what you think, okay? A lot of people think, oh, the startup phase is just getting the license, right? I think the startup phase is at least your first year in business, right? Getting started and then your first year in business, like serving, providing care, that's what I kind of define your startup phase, right? Because just because you get licensed and certified doesn't mean that you're going to make the money because you have to know how to market correctly, right? You have to know how to do that. And if you don't know how to do that, then you're not going to have the revenue. And even if you are, you're still trying to learn the business. You're still trying to get that feel. So the startup phase, I really say, is getting licensed, getting certified. And then once you are providing the care, at least one year in business from there, and then you're two and you're three, you're feeling really good, you're feeling stable. Um, and it's not to say that you can't scale in year one, that's not what I'm saying, but I'm saying it's still kind of that startup phase, right? You're still trying to get that cadence of the business, of the service, of all of the things, right? And so what it takes to really get through that is a couple things. And I, and I feel like a lot of you might know, you know, might know this and that's fine. Uh, but I really feel like you really need like unwavering commitment, you need grit and you need determination because it's gonna be a sticky road. It's going to be a little bit of a bumpy road. And if you are one to, to not be able to handle it, then you'll be knocked off your game like super quick, right? 